we're talking about the balance scorecard and how it's used by managers to effectively manage their organizations and not only manage the organization overall but achieve synergy between all the various perspectives that you must delight uh, in order to be uh, have success in your business. Now you'll remember that these uh, objectives, there's three lead indicator objective and one lag indicator. Now the lag indicator means that that's the outcome or what the uh, result is of satisfying the other three. So the, la the lag indicator is financial. In other words, if you get everything right with the customer internal business process and learning and growth perspectives, then financial results will naturally follow. The lead indicators include internal business processes. That's the systems and procedures your business has in place. It's how they get the work done. Learning and growth is who does the work, in other words, your employees and the other managers. And if you get it right with these two, in other words, they understand the overall goals and objectives of the business, and we've translated the overall goals into goals for each perspective or stakeholder group. For example, learning and growth, we would set up an objective. So if the overall company says, I want customer satisfaction, well, in learning and growth, we also want employee satisfaction and delight. And what does that mean uh, in terms of the overall customer experience? So performance measure might be something like the number of training hours or how many um, different duties the employees are cross-trained on. In other words, can they pitch in if a customer comes in and says, hey, I've got this problem, and they don't sit there and say, well, it's not my problem. Go see Joe over there. So it might be cross-training. And then the target would be how um, you would set a numerical number that you could achieve, like each employee will be cross-trained in at least five different um, skills. Or, or duties, so to speak. So we want to link the employee or any of these perspectives, objectives, with the performance measure, with the target, so that we can achieve our overall goal. And we'll do this for not only the employees, the learning and growth, but the internal business processes, how we get the work done. And if we get these two right, customers are delighted and if customers are delighted, do they keep coming back? And then do we have our financial results that we want? So to make sure we kind of get this idea, let's take a look in our text at short exercise 10, which says the following. One of your, your college's goals is customer satisfaction. And in view of that goal, identify for each of the following what is the linked objective, what is the performance measure, and what is the performance target in achieving that customer satisfaction. So we first have to figure out, is it an objective, measure, or target? So number one, we want to have a successful fundraising campaign. Well, a successful fundraising campaign would probably be from the financial perspective because fundraising is money, you know, and that's good results. So that would be the objective of the financial perspective. The next one, let's see if I can find the measure and the target for this. Um, so let's see, number three says to increase the average donation by 10%. Now, that again is financial, but that would not be the performance measure. That's the target, because we want to make sure each donor gives 10% more each year. And then, as far as what the performance measure would be for financial, it would be um, the average number of dollars raised per donor. So, measure how many dollars do you raise per donor. We, our target is to increase that by 10% each year, and our objective is to have a successful fundraising campaign. And if we do these things, we'll have customer satisfaction. The other one that's listed here, listen to this, number of publications per year per tenure track faculty person. So that's a learning and growth. So it's number of publications. So notice that's a measure. So that's the performance measure. 
Now, how we, are we going to do that? Well, the objective is, number five, to have a faculty engaged in cutting-edge research. So that's the objective. So, what's our target for each faculty person? Number six says, to increase the number of publications per faculty member by at least one a year. Is that a measurable target for each faculty? Yes. So that's the target. So hopefully this uh, short exercise 10 has helped you see the four perspectives of the balanced scorecard and how you link objectives, measures, and targets.